the objective of this video is to teach you how to write uh, the main features of a graph or how to write the equation of a graph or from the graph to write the main features okay now this is a, a straight line graph so for a straight line graph there are two features one is called the y intercept y intercept is where your graph cuts your y axis okay y intercept someone is saying y intercept it seems sounds to be uh, flash but it is basically where your where your graph this is nothing but where your graph cuts cuts or crosses cuts or crosses y axis that's as simple as that so someone is when they are saying y intercept or y crossing some people say y crossing they, they are what they're saying is where is a graph cutting your y axis the second is for a for straight line gradient of course gradient is used for all types of graph okay gradient i would say is uh, one of the foundational thing of any type of graph so gradient is defined as uh, the change in y over change in x this is the definition of gradient change in y over change in x that means uh, this is also called the rate of change okay so and uh, in in a some uh, this the change in y is also uh, referred as rise and this is also the change in x is also called run okay so gradient and y intercept are the two things which are crucial so the first question is what is the y intercept of this graph so the y intercept is uh, it's cutting your y axis at negative 1 okay so but when the question is what is the y intercept they're asking you the coordinate okay now coordinate means uh, I hope you should be knowing this up at this point this point is referred as 1 comma 2 where 1 corresponds to the 1 on the x-axis and 2 corresponds to the 2 on the y-axis suppose let me take say any other point so for this point this point has a name okay so this point is this point corresponds to 3 on the x-axis and 8 on the y-axis so this point is called 3 comma 8 so when they're asking you to find the y-intercept don't write only negative 1 this point this is also a point but if you write negative 1 it you you uh, you are confusing because are you referring to negative 1 on the y-axis or on the x-axis so we want to refer to negative 1 on the y-axis which, which is referred as 0 comma negative 1 okay so now you may ask what is this point called can I say this too no if you are referring this point you have to say this is 2 comma 0 so this point is 5 comma 0 so these are some conventions that we use in maths okay so if you say minus 1 what's the y intercept is negative 1 that's fine but this is the a complete truth you should say 0 comma negative 1 okay the next question is what is the gradient of the what's the gradient of the line so for the gradient you can join you can take any two points on the line doesn't matter which points you're taking so we already taken two points so let us take those two points and then you join it join by drawing a right angle triangle so this is what I mean so this point I'm going to join with this point by right angle triangle so this is you have to draw a right angle triangle to find the gradient so for gradient you need to calculate two things one is a change in x this is called your run and this is your change in y which is your rise now again by convention if you're going to the right the run would be positive and if you had gone to the left it would be negative so I'll explain this in detail you need to understand this quite clearly so from year to year you're running from 1 to 3 so you're running to the right so the right run is 2 and for the rise again you're rising up so you're rising from 2 2 to 8 you're rising from 2 to 8 so 
So the rise is 6. So your gradient is, let me change color. So gradient is rise over run. So I'll write the formula. Gradient is rise over run. That is, what's your rise? 6 over 2, which is 3. Okay, or 3 over 1. I think 3 is fine. But to understand what's the gradient, it is the rate of change of y. That means when x is changing 2, when the change in x is 2, the change in y is 3. Or when x is changing by 1, when x changes by 1, y changes by 2. Now you may ask, well, what happens if someone uh, wants to go from year to year like this? Does it matter? So let's see what happens. Suppose if the person goes, oops, I will use a different arrow. Suppose if someone goes from year to year, okay, is it allowed? So let's see. So this is, the person has gone from year to year, joining like this, what has happened here. So year, this is your run, this is your run, and this is your rise. I want to uh, make this concept very clear. So are you, what are you doing? Are you running to the right or left? You're running to the left. So your run, your run is from 3 to 1. So your run is negative 2 because you're running to the left. And the rise would be again negative because you're rising down or you're coming down. So your, rising, your rise is from 8 to 2. So your rise is negative 6. Okay. So what will happen now? So the gradient is, would be negative 6 over negative 3, negative 2, sorry, negative 6 over negative 2, which is nothing but 3 over 1, which is 3. Okay, so I'll show you on a calculator. Suppose this is when you run negative 6 divided by negative 2 is nothing but 3. Okay, so here it doesn't matter. You take, so this is nothing but 3. 3 over 1 is just to explain. So that's the rate of change. When x changes by 1, y changes by 3. That's, the, that's what gradient means. Or in other words, for a unit change in x, that is a change of 3 in y. 1 stands for, represents the unit change. Now, the equation of a line is has this formula, y is equal to mx plus c. Okay. Now, m is nothing but the gradient. m is the gradient, and your y-intercept is c. So, your c is negative 1. So, let me write that. So this is called, this is the y-intercept. We don't write the point there. And this is the gradient. So the equation of this line would be y is equal to, what's the gradient? The gradient is 3, 3x minus 1, just like that. So the equation of the line is 3x minus 1. So let me do one more example here. Uh, the graph has this equation of negative 3x plus 4. So can you see that the y-intercept is 4 here? And it has got a negative gradient. So your gradient, when you look at the number, the gradient is minus 3. That means minus 3 over 1. That means when x is changing by 1, y is decreasing by 3. So let's see that. Suppose, to understand that, suppose let us take this point. This point is how this point is 2 comma negative 2. Okay, and let us take this point. Okay, so let us join them. So this is your, this is your, uh, I can't see this, so I think I'll, I'll go this way. Okay, so this is your run, and this is your rise. Okay, so what's your run there? Just to explain, your run is to the right. You're running from 4 to so you're running from 0 to 2. So your run is 2. And what's your rise? Rise is from 4 to, from 4 you're ri running to negative 2, which is a run of 
rise of negative 6 because you're going down okay and that's why you put a negative here and the gradient is rise over run which is minus 6 over 2 which is minus 3 just to explain the gradient how they got this negative 3 okay now what's the gradient so the gradient is nothing but negative 3 and what's the x-intercept x-intercept is where your graph is cutting the x-axis now x-intercept you can also find by this formula x-intercept x-intercept is when y is equal to 0 y-intercept so this is your y-intercept the y-intercept is when x is equal to 0 so that's why it's 0 4 so this point I can't exactly read that point it is between 1 and 2 so it seems to be 1.5 but I'm making a guess so they are telling you to find you find the y-intercept so y-intercept is when x is equal to 0 so this point is of course if it is 1.5 it will be 1.5 comma 0 so let me write the equation y is equal to minus 3x that's the number plus 4 yes so let us put 0 here so 0 is minus 3x plus 4 so if you take away 4 from both sides or if you bring this 3x to this side so 3x by adding 3x to both sides 3x is equal to 4 so x is 4 thirds dividing this side by 3 and this by 3 so which is 1 and 1 third okay it's not 1.5 my guess was wrong so this is 1 and 1 third so this point is 1 and 1 third to be exact so the x-intercept is 1 and 1 third 